Come John, on. I want to help doing? ease your broken heart. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm drinking some water. What so, John, this? you sleep oh, no. softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. You're a oh, student, no. John. Now, I will tell you that this game is working, but it it does not. Uh, it's a little, it's a little flaky on my computer. So we'll see how far so we can get. I, I, I can't choose my own avatar. Oh no! Oh no! 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 I no, put your no, name no. in. It's John. No! Oh, No! So okay. So okay. Here we, oh wait! Here we go! Here we go! Hold on one second. I gotta get this to the front. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Uh -oh. Or you could wake up now, now, now! Your first day of culinary school is no time to sleep in. Oh, no. Smack that clock up and at him, or throw the clock out the window and stay in bed forever. What do you I'm choose, gonna, Jeff? I'm going to smack that clock up and at him. And why do I picture BTS? Is that the poster? Well, oh, just wait. Cool. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Oh, great. Why do they think these names? It's like ice truckers, ghost hunters, whatever. Your mind begins to wander. Hmm. Where's Craig? What's Craig doing these days? Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously, or you allow yourself to daydream a bit thinking about the future. Take this seriously. We're getting, we're getting cracker. There you go. There's your, there's your line. I'd better make sure to arrive prepared for the first day. That's the voice I'm using. Hey, it's Mikey B. Thanks for gifting a sub. That was very nice of you to Farrah Holena. Thank you very much for gifting that. You burst through your morning checklist. Teeth, brushed, <laughs> hair, combed. Well, okay. pits deodorized. Nothing can stop you now. Except you confidently grab a biscuit, strut out the door, and head off to class. Just what you need to get your your blood flowing. It's like a heavenly biscuit. Oh, Shushen says it's not BTS because BTS has seven members and that picture only has six. Thank so you. it's just BT. BT. Standing in the quads, you gaze upon the magnif magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam! Oof. There's Miriam. Oh, no. Oh, she is, no. <laughs> she's the most. <laughs> no, no, no. Is she a reject from Sailor Moon? I'm just wondering. No, okay, listen, you listen. Oh, this is gonna get the this is gonna be the best. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Speaking of biscuit, you're not a dry biscuit, are you, John? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm gonna stop that. I, I, I watched that I like ten times. It was so funny. It's so, so stupid. Good morning, John! Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Ooh, commit to that voice. <laughs> Actually, I'm... Because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Okay, 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 a lot nervous. Oh, jeez. What the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Dad. Oh, no. Classic Miriam, raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Yeah, she looks kind of high. Oh, okay, I'm going to get off to the big page. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Uh, by the way, i got to tell you a big secret. Oh, but with... <laughs> but with the oh, University oh. of Cooking School Academy for Learning famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up! Oof. This one. A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talk your best friend, change the subject to school gossip. Let's change the subject. Even though the school just started, let's gossip about the cute boys. It's hard to see Miriam like this and frankly quite exhausting. Rather than dwell on her anxiety, you try to change the subject to something more interesting. 
All summer, you've been hearing rumors about a dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who is enrolled at this school. So help me, it better be Craig. Yeah, that's, you. that's, that's a little worrisome, but you'll be fine. Now, what about this mystery student you read about on the school message board? Any new deets? Fill me in. Give me the oh, get this. I heard his name is Harland, and he's no ordinary student. Student. Oh, no, they say he in. has powers, and he's had them ever since he was born from an egg. Oof, if he's a chicken, I'm going to freak. An egg? Like a chicken? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Cousin Larry, don't <laughs> be ridiculous. Remember What's that, that show? For? Perfect no. Strangers. Strangers. Perfect Strangers? Come on! I remember the show, but I never watched it. Don't be ridiculous, don't Cousin be ridiculous. Larry. It was Bel- Gelpy. Melfi? Balky. Melky. Balky! But that's the thing about having powers. It would line up with some of the other rumors I've heard, dot, dot, dot. Like he plays for the other team. Like I've heard he once fought a bear with just his smile. You both yeah, sigh, wink, thinking wink. about a student so handsome that the law of physics don't dare apply to him. Dreamy. Ha! Oh, no. <sighs> Before you can root... Re- Oh, Excuse oh, me, SpongeBob. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hand and onto the ground. It's Craig. No, hey! it's Hey, it's Ashley. Hey, Ashley, Oof. your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. I call her Trashley. FYI. Trashley. Hey, Trashley. It's hello. Hello, hello, Newman. Hello, Trashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. <laughs> you leave John's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she added the extra letters to make her feel herself feel better than anyone. She, look at the dress she's wearing with the hips. She's really, uh... She's putting it out there. If anyone uh, knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Yeah, her skirt's a little, uh... Uh, we're That's not going to tell. We're not going to let you. We're not going to let you or your really weird insults get to us. So f off, Trashley. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. He has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocket glutes. Ahem, Van Van. Okay, I want to see what this guy looks like. Oof. You, Rang Rang. Oh, jeez. He's got the same voice as... What's his name? Cake Stan Craig. Yeah. Well, you've never been sure guy. what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. What is he wearing? He's wearing like a weird... <laughs> Half a shirt. It's like the, the tuxedo thing that you wear, Part of a but shirt. no shirt That's underneath it. And that belt is way too huge. Oh my god! No, he sounds like who's the who's the, the rough trade guy? Uh, Robert. The last game. Yeah, that's what he's like. Okay, I can't believe that University of Cookie School Academia for Learning, which will shorten to UCSAL. Uh, UC. So yeah, U- UCSA. UCSA. Uh, L. U C S A L. U C S A L. Okay. Anyway, for learning, we're allowing even a lot of people like you to attend the students. And by you, I mean, you know. I know, right? You'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. Oof. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's no time to properly tell these two off. So you resist the urge. Let's go, Miriam. See you later, losers! I forget her voice already. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Oh, boy. (laughs) This one. (laughs) Oopsie! I think it's it's broken. Like his eyeballs, they're broken. You reach forward and easily open the door. Um... That should do the trick, dumbass. I love you! 
Oh, jeez. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. Oof. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, no. Hi, Pop. I'm Nodge. I'm John, so... Are you going to make me hold the door all day? Get your ass no! in there. And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? He's kind of five years old. I think it's just you. Oof. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. You stand at the edge of the room, where uh, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy, busy chit-chatting. Question. Is it a, a culinary school? Why are we sitting at desks? Anyway. Oh, hang on. A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. Oh, no. Sprinkles. Dog teacher? No, oh, no. no. Quiet down, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. You better write down these voices. You'll never remember. Uh, who is this unreasonably cute pup? Is Why is he in our culinary class? And why is he a talking dog? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of us... Uh, Uxel. See, it's always Uxel. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof! <laughs> Come on. What a cute dog. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. Oof. I'm chilly. Somebody close the window. Does he have and then okay, good. he walks in. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. See? Remote well, it is. Yeah, I mean, your head is your head is kind of right where he is. Hold on. It's him. It's. He's trying to if it me. isn't my favorite student, Holland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he could finish his sentence. Uh, please, uh, do call me the Colonel. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I say, I say, I say. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. <laughs> Maybe we should uh, open the window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates <laughs> entirely. These two. Okay, I'll read through. You two both know my name. We're in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? And what's with the picture of the guy in the front of the class? Who is that? Anyway. Weird insults. Uh, you two, oh, that's, uh, do you take a moment to clean yourself up? I guess you have to. That's the only choice. I guess I have no choice, yeah. Hey, uh, definitely not Kimmy, definitely not a Kimmy, gifted five community subs, oh my gosh, to, uh, oh. Brad Plays, uh, Ma, Ma Kawaka, Slippy Nucks, Chop 666, and DK Fuel. Well, thank you so much. Definitely not a Kimmy. <laughs> That is awesome. Okay. Let's play next and ask the music to play after this next comment. Okay. It's a good thing you didn't forget to about that deodorant this morning. This classroom is hot, hot, hot. Da, 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 fire. Da, 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 Me hot's a fire feeling hot, hot, hot. I go to Mizu. school here. That guy is queer here feeling hot, hot, hot. What to do? I like, I like this. I like this. <laughs> That professor is a dog. Say boom, 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 blah, 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 Okay. Thank you, Kimmy. Da, da, da. What the? I said nothing. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets some ground rules. 
Welcome to the <laughs> University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be a really adorable tiny food. Blood? And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete to become... Uh, compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, Oof. another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Uh-oh, who's this? Oh, hey, boy. guys. Sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! You dumb <laughs> jerk! Sit the fuck down! Late to class is bad enough! But interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man! Are you sure you're even in the right place? You look like a reject from... What's the show with... The, what's the Caroline? The movie with the girl with the buttons on her eyes. Coraline. Don't you recognize me? It's my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You are expelled if you utter one more word before I finish, and I will poop on you because I turned that way. Speaking Let that be a lesson to you, students. Tardiness is unacceptable. Yeah, last night we were sleeping. All of a sudden I hear this... <laughs> and who was it? Nala. Nala. Anyway. <laughs> Even <laughs> Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across the... Uh, uh, halfway across yeah. town on his tiny wheels. You He's turn quiet. to see a student Sprinkles is referencing. He appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Oh, oh, no. You know who that is. The class burst into laughter. Who? It's Mrs. It's Ms. Chocolate's, uh, the chocolate. Oh, the Chocobot. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands... Walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Mmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be, be taking better care of yourself. Hey, Sprinkles, get your nose out of my ass. You've never heard of a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Beef treat, rubber ball, chicken snack. Rubber ball, because I don't know if he's, he could be, he could be a vegan. I don't want to piss him okay. off. Okay. You reach beneath your apron and return with your rubber balls in your hand. Uh, uh, with a rubber <laughs> ball in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wise as he locks onto it. You toss the ball and he bounces after it, grabbing it in his mouth, swinging it from side to side before dropping it. The thrill oh. passes quickly. It's not clear if that endeared you to him or not. Settle down, settle down, you chefs, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds fucking blown and open <laughs> to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, John, we're still, there's still, I forget her voice already. Hi, John, there's still a seat here. She's kind of uh, It saying. seems, uh, well, I do declare, it seems that no <laughs> one has claimed the seat next to me, if you are interested there, young gentleman. I'll sit on. Two I'll good options, but which will you that, choose? Sit by Colonel Sanders, sit by best friend. Colonel Sanders, we'll see what happens. You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. Oh, no. It appears he brought no books, pens, or pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. <laughs> That's you. Thanks. Thanks for offering me this seat, Colonel. I got a seat for you. Come over here. I've only had two rules. Do all you can and do it the best you can. It's the only way you ever get that feeling of accepting some, accomplishing something. <laughs> accepting? That's, that's so inspiring. A little off topic if you ask me, Baruki. As soon as you're settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast. It's time for a pop quiz. Yeah, mother effers. Brit Blake says, Colonel Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> Yay, a quiz about going. Your ego's writing checks your body can't 
count. Ben can't count. Cat. Who's Pop? Which one's Pop? Pops the little is the little kid. kid. Yay! A quiz about me! Oh. This is an incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz. Will tell me if you're ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question number one. If a train, if train A is traveling to point B, and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Mm, depends. Extremely, looking at you, Pop, or it doesn't matter at all. Extremely, looking at you, Pop. That's right! Oh, I, don't, I guess that's not him. That's right. No. Forest is to tree as chicken is to... Feather, night vision goggles, a slam dunk. Feather. That's right. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? A comically oversized fork, a meat tenderizer, or a spork? A spork. That's right. I'm nailing this quiz. No. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, a pancake that looks like a silly face. Anything. The first one. That's right. What if they're all right? <laughs> Is Sprinkles a good boy? <laughs> no, he's a talking dog that teaches at a culinary school. He's the best boy or yes. Number two, the best boy. That's, That's right. right. Perfect score. Five out of five. Yeah. I wow. Be honest. Me. Did you cheat? You look to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I'd like to watch him tally his. <laughs> I, like I, I know we just met, but I, <laughs> I have to confess. I do declare. I do think do you have a beautiful brain. Did you see that? Hearts. He had little hearts. That. He's got the vapors. Hi, diggity Don, John, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, the cafeteria is nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Did you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have, can I have your attention? What is it about lunch? Oh, this kid. No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was. Oh, howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. <laughs> my pants hey, are open. I lunch. was. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. But I... Shh. Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch! She said shh, you dumbass. In honor of our new semester, I prepared something special to share with you and everyone for lunch. I can only imagine. Is that seven herbs and spices? That must be the smell I smelled! Indeed. That smell. Look at his arms. I know. Is you hold your breath, you? waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this. Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket over its head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, <gasps> breaded and fried to a crispy, golden finish. So the, aroma the aroma... Envelopes you, envelops you, envelops, and you, be yeah. you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Oh, Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking, start eating. For years I have uh, been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. <laughs> Do you think they approved this at KFC? Yeah, this is a game that was released by KFC. Oh, sure it was. By my, oh, calculation, by my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. Am I boring you, John? Because if yeah. so, I could put something in your mouth when you yawn like that. <laughs> you ahead. look around and 
notice boring. that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all Do I'll say about that. I'm not going to steal your recipe. What? These. Do you think we want your secret rest, stupid secret recipe, dude? Fishaw. No, well, my dude. No. Nah. Van Van doesn't sound Oh, it's like the guy. Van Van's Robert. the guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. What? You think we want your stupid <laughs> secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. No, nah, my dude. No. Nah. I'm just uh, drafting a last, last will and testament in case uh, one of those ingredients is poison. Got him. He looks around nervously to see anyone is laughing at a sick burn. You wait to see what a zinger Ashley has prepared for a follow-up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, yeah, I was just like uh, writing in my diary. Yeah. Dear diary, Ooh, up. today I smelled something so beautiful, I knew that in a moment, the only the hands of a true gentleman could fry a chicken so tender. <laughs> <laughs> you see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that, she, that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. Uh, you broke up the wrong chicken, honey. <laughs> Go on. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> well, Van Van, the man-man, if you don't want any, I'll... Oh, that's you. I'll take his! Whoa, whoa, hold on. I mean, I, I mean, I guess I'll slip it into my mouth and roll it around a bit, see what happens. <laughs> he takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now there. There's uh, enough for everyone. Please allow my fellow classmates to dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of his bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' foods transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Let's swim toward the light, see what happens. Are you okay? Here we go. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapping up in them, wrapped up in them, unable to resist. <laughs> You reach towards the light. It grabs your hands and pulls you closer, closer, until your fingertips connect with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken. Your mind dissolves. There is no John now. There is only herbs and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. Game over. <laughs> That's it! You died, John! Ah, John, John, John. Can we try again? I... I don't know if it goes back to the beginning oh. or... What's this game called? It's very bizarre. This game is called I Love You, Colonel Sanders, I think, is the okay. name. Oh, it's back to here. Let's see if we can save this spot, because apparently oh. we'll be coming back here a lot. Oh, is no. John... Oh, uh, you can't weird. get away through. It's a Stuart, Stuart Cafeteria. Why is it called Stuart Cafeteria? I don't know. A delicious fragrance. Maybe, do you smell that? It must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got to go through all this again. Okay. Jeez. Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an yeah. announcement. I got something in my pants for lunch. Dig in. Let me just pull my what hand out of my pocket and show you my thigh <laughs> and my drumstick. <laughs> And my wing. Okay, we got to go through press. all this. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. He's going to show up, Van Van, with his big bag of BS. Oh, look, I'm going to have this. Let me get Can back to. Okay, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, let's do the first one. Focus your mind, meditate on this moment, try and identify every flavor. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt, maybe. Pepper, too obvious. Pepper pot, oregano, basil, maybe, but there's something else. A something dark, spice. something spicy. You dig deeper, deeper. You even dig deeper till still until you find it. Could it Could be? It be... <laughs> 
You really did it. Really How did. bold. Oh, that's you. See? How bold to use. <laughs> Brett Blake says, seems pretty accurate. You eat KFC, you die. That's what Brett <laughs> says. Uh, on, you, you try, try to, to go even deeper to the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret. And yet, now you know, a mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around you, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by lunch, and no one has noticed that you traveled through space and time. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. Yeah, you do. You approach him. You say, hey, Colonel. I know what your secrets are. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he's doing <laughs> and allows you to break the silence. Mm. Colonel, I wonder if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for fellow chef. <laughs> what exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> well, how bold of you to come out and ask. It's an idea I had, a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open up a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just, uh, hold on. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. Wink, wink. Well, Sir Rush, the semester's only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. <laughs> it's a three-day semester. He's clearly not going to give it up that easily. Mm, but it oh. doesn't hurt to be persistent. I got an idea. Let's go for a camping trip. I got two sleeping bags. <laughs> oh, boy. Thomas, there's two of them. Uh, you know what? You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You got moxie. I'll give you that. In fact, could you show me your moxie? Slowly. <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Oof. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use... It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Oh! Oh, John! We got a telemarketer! Here we go! Ah, Lufa! I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Hello? Hello? Hello. I'm calling for the police and trooper support pack. The reason for the call is because tragically so many police officers get killed in the line of duty every year while oh. protecting our communities. Our mission is to help elect lawmakers that recognize well, we the importance of enacting that. legislation that provides better police training and advocates for increased death and disability funds for those officers killed this is a recording. or injured on the job. If we send you out an envelope, can the officers count on you for a one-time non-tax deductible support? Will it be delivered by an actual officer? Will he arrive <laughs> at my house and deliver it in person? We do need a commitment to send it out. It's wherever your heart meets your budget. The levels are 35, 25, <laughs> or 20. Which one of these can My you heart the meets my budget. Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, you never would have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And blank isn't definitely a flavor you tasted before, so now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe. But don't tell Colonel Sanders that. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared! While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Oh, With the same pose. Is, it's you again. Well, howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about what, what, what how my story come? will consider, continue on after I've graduated. What? Sometimes I like to, I like to come outside too. Sometimes inside. It sounds like you have big plans. Well, not only big plans. I mean, take a look at this. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my oh. mark on this world just like I will leave a handprint on your ass. <laughs> you can bet on that. <laughs> Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really spice up things. Be modest, but thoughtful. Neg him. You don't know what that means? It's a, no. it's like these these dumb 
bros, these dumb idiots are like, you know how to get a get a, uh, a girl to like you is to neg her and it's to say something negative to her. So you'd be oh. like, uh, you know, like you say, her like, wow, your hair, uh, you know, like, wow, you're not, your hair looks good today. You know, like you're really, like you're kind of saying, like, regularly your hair doesn't look good. I don't know. I'm not good at it because no. I am a true lover and I know what to say to a woman. Hey, hey babe, want to fuck? Good. What? No, number three, be modest but thoughtful. Modest but thoughtful. What do you okay. say? Come to my place for pizza and a blowjob? What? Your old Woo! Pizza? Oh, hearts! Your hearts? Well, I just wanted to tell you I really enjoyed your food, especially your thick meat, your creamy thighs. Now you've got his attention. Oh, I bet I do. The flavors were, hold on, I got to get this thing. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. Didn't leave that bad effigy. I appreciate the compliment, Joan. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be a big success. In fact, I can see a big future. I know we've you. only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Oh. We should head room. back inside. The next lesson starts in my pan. Uh, starts soon. <laughs> you step into a massing, massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could ever need. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get some, just something to show our stuff. Jeez. Oh, Wait a second. Oh, no. We've got to show our stuff. What if I totally blow it? Speaking of blowing. Jeez. You're not going to blow anything except maybe... Kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's <laughs> lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Gee, I wonder who I'm going to end up with. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you, but able to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. <laughs> hey, Colonel, would you like to uh, tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. As well, there's actually four of us. Me, you, and our pants. Want to be my partner? In the sure, John. Uh, I'll prepare our station. Zip. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Pop. Oh, no. Hello, new partner! Clank. Beep bop. Beep bop, beep beep. Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick four. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Now, I will say, before you choose, she did say, for whatever reason, that Pop was cute. So. Then they have a pick Pop, and the two of them can make their crap together. That's sorry, you. Clank. But I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. You're stuck with Ms. Chocolate. <laughs> We're... Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef! <laughs> he holds up a banana and without peeling it, proudly eats the entire thing. Oh boy. Ooh, deep throats it. <laughs> it's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. I love your enthusiasm, Pop! She looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now, sucker. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. I don't want to see any of you flinting with each other. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare uh, seems easy enough. It's fancy and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Now that yes, you know that this is a KFC-related game, which one will you choose? Mashed potatoes and gravy, because he's going to steal the recipe and say, it's going to be great. See, look at the hearts. Oh, yeah. It's always been something of a down-home chef. I think we can make something warm, inviting, comforting. Speaking of warm, inviting, comforting, zip! Maybe mashed potatoes? And gravy. I'll make it some gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go be red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. I'll go get the, I'll go get the spuds. Stood. 
No, please, uh, allow me, young lady. Uh, picking the perfect <laughs> produce is a, is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonial Sanders? Colonial <laughs> Sanders, dumbass. Trashly. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business, bitch! Sanders' heart is my business, and you'd better keep your fingers off my man-man. <laughs> off of my man. Did uh, someone call for me? Uh, no, cheese fan van. While I'm over here crushing John's dreams, remember, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Uh oh, they're evil. Colonel Sanders returns, arm full of peeled potatoes. He tosses them in the boiling water and turns his attention to you and your old, quote unquote, friends. Big's hip, big hips and no shirt. <laughs> oh, how do that, Ashley, Van Van? Uh, are we working in a quartet now instead of a duet? Actually, no. I look like John was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. Would you stand behind me and show me how to <laughs> stick a mixer into the batter? <laughs> I was going to say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it. Don't be rude, Van Van. Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned yourself at, positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together like thigh and drumstick. Speaking of which, stick your drumstick between my thighs. <laughs> well, it just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for you, Colonel, if you don't watch out. Ashley is really going at you hard. Really hard. Really pounding it in. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn Colonel Sanders hunk of hunks into turn to Colonel Sanders hunk of hunks in your time of need. Turn to Miriam your forever bestie who always has your back. Ooh, should we stop here and make it a cliffhanger? Yeah, we should. We should. We should. Let me see if I can save this. 